we're building an airplane to fly in the box because no one's done that before. I'm making the motor mounts right now, so this will go onto the plane so I can hopefully fly it in the box. So hopefully it flies around for at least a little bit before it gets destroyed by the shrapnel from all the other vehicles running around inside the box. Uh, this is gonna be the motor mount for the airplane. We are taking a 3D printer. It's becoming cursed. It's gonna drive around. We bought a bunch of knives. We're probably gonna go buy more and we're gonna make the print head go back and forth. We're gonna strap knives to that and then we're gonna make the print head do that. Also with, with knives. It's very cursed, it's potentially effective. Fundraising. Also potentially top heavy, bulky and not practical, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll definitely attach some to the bed. I'm still debating as to whether I should angle them up or not. We'll have at least two there, maybe some on the back, we'll see. And then I think also have some up here because we're going to be fighting, I think, Peter, who, who's going to be flying. If he's flying, we, we got to aim up so that if he kind of swoops up at us or swoops down at us, then we'll have some form of defense instead of just getting knocked over because I, I think that's <laughs> we might get knocked over. I don't know if there was an inspiration. <laughs> we talked about things that could hurt someone else that we could strap to an Ender 3 and I don't know why, but knives was unfortunately the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> to put the bottom one on first. I think that's a good stopping point for today. Yes! <laughs> yes. Live on. Yeah, you can take you your cursed printer. Being. You can walk your printer. <laughs> you think it'll be able to turn? Probably. Maybe. You guys have never drilled through kitchen knives? It would be a first. The Walmart kitchen knives are winning. Come on. That was crunchy. Damn, who keeps turning his glue gun off? Yeah. I like that. I think this is gonna I be I like good. side to side, yeah. We'll drive it around in circles and we'll have these on top. But it's only gonna work if the other things we yeah. fight are tall. And they're not gonna be tall. They're just gonna be random blades spinning in the air. Is that little bat, that battery is powering the whole thing? What little battery? That ain't no way. Might need two of them. Oh, um, get one of the knives and like poke it. Like just poke it right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's smart. Pierce it a little bit. Uh -huh. Yeah. Put your hands over it. It'll keep you warm. Are you using your consistency test? Uh, no, you can use that. That's a server tester. What are you trying to do with it? I, I didn't know. Oh, you, yeah. You can take it out. Yeah. Yeah. This will have to be figured out. It's literally just trial, you know, trial yeah. and error. If it's if one's going the other way, you just swap them, and if you plug them backwards, but you only need one of those. Yeah. You uh, you need a Y harness. You need two Y harnesses for the servos. Right. Just to split the signal between these two, so they can share, and that will drive that. Put all of them in series. Not all in series. <laughs> <laughs> this, basically, you're getting a series connector for this and a series connector for this. Both of these ESCs are gonna have a BEC, so you don't need a battery for your receiver. Mm -hmm. Okay. They put out five volts, right? But BECs don't work well together. Yeah, some some of them do, and these must be ones that they just hate. Because usually oh, I've okay. found that that to be a case with some very specialized ones. These are these are specialized. Yeah. But now we need something to run this. I can probably make it run for one S right now. Wait, I'm not sure. Is the receiver two S compatible? It is. Yeah. Okay, okay yeah. straight up to two S. Yeah. Reds, reds. Uh, no, or no, red red should be center. Yeah, this is the fucked up connector. This is fucked up. That's what the whole problem is. Like yeah, it's uh, I hate this reverse game here. So I tried to do that. So now we're going forward, but this is still backwards. All right, we'll just switch the wires if you want the steering right. 
damn one has to be switched. So this one needs to be switched. Fuck. Wrong one. I hate these damn transmitters. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> well, it does take off. Hang on. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> it's hard. It's a little tricky. And basically, it's gonna be a lot of that. It just needs to be entertaining. Because if there's an airplane flying around the box, it's good enough for me. Can you fly it around the box, so, Peter? Shut up, Kevin. <laughs> good luck, Captain. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna go down with this ship in flames. Ricky, what is on the screen right now? What yeah. is this? That looks an awful lot like a 3D printer with knives. On a day-to-day -day basis, I feel like my 3D printer hates me. <laughs> this is its revenge? This, I think this is it trying to have a little bit of sweet, sweet revenge. Looks like we've got Emily the Engineer going up against Peter Strykehold. All right, now Booster is assuming its position in the pink corner. I don't think it is ever expected to face a robot uh, that was primarily 3D printer. Three, two, one. Fight, robots fight. Whoa, Ricky, wow. I did not expect it to actually fly in the arena. But here we are. <laughs> oh. Ricky, there's bouncy balls. There are a million bouncy balls all over the arena. Every cone, I think, is filled with bouncy balls. OK, so with each printer movement, it, it a is stab stabbing. does occur. <laughs> A balloon just went flying through the air. I don't know what's happening. A knife is down. That is a That arena is clearly hazard. damage. I want to see that. Oh, oh it's stuck in the wall. It's stuck Look in the Lindsay. wall. Again. That knife is embedded in the arena wall. That is so cool. That just... knife is just, it appears to be floating in midair, but no, it is stuck in that Lexan. The 3D printer still printing against all odds. A knife stuck in the plywood. This is chaos. This is havoc. This is what we're here oh, for. Oh, the core plane. Flippity dippity, <laughs> bippity boppity. This was pure chaos in every way that, again, I didn't know that I needed. I have to hand it to all of these YouTube creators. I cannot believe that this is embedded in the Lexan. You were the first plane to be in an NHRL battle in the cage. First, probably the last, because it makes zero sense to fly an airplane in that cage. That plane did not fly very well either, so that was like the second time I got to fly it. I flew it once inside the place where we built it, and that was it. Catches death trap. <laughs> <laughs>